my dear students. Hope all of you are in pink of health. Today I am here to teach you another interesting topic. I will teach you how to make a number grid and then how to use it. Sometimes we get exercises to solve where we have to add numbers. So children, this is done easily with the help of a grid. Now how to make a grid? You can make a grid by using a sheet of paper. You can divide the sheet in 10 columns and 10 rows. And then you can write numbers from 1 to 100. This grid has 10 columns and 10 rows. This is why it is called 10 by 10 grid. Now, Moving on to the exercise. We have to use the grid to solve this. What we have to do? We have few numbers and we have to add 30 to them. So, let's take the help of the grid. The first number is 10. We will find 10 on the grid. 10 is here. From number 10, we will move 3 lines down. 1, 2 and 3. Moving 1 row means we are adding 10. So 10 plus 10 plus 10. We reached 40. The answer is 40. The next number is 14. So Find where 14 is. Here it is. We have to add 30. So we will move 3 rows below. 1, 2 and 3. So the answer is 44. We will write 44. The next number is 55. Now let's find 55. Here it is. We have to add 30. Now it means we have to move 3 rows below. 1, 2 and 3. So we reached 85. See how easy it is to add using a grid? Answer is 85. Now another number. Number 39. Here is 39. We have to add 30. So we will move 3 rows below. 1 row, 2 row and 3 rows. So we will reach 69. Now the answer is 69. Now let's see another exercise. Here we have to write 10 more. We have to add 10. Children, now I explained to you that when we have to add 10, we move one row down. So when we have to add 10, we move one row down. The first number is 22. So what we will do? We will find number 22 on the grid. Here it is. So we will circle 22. We have to add 10. So from 22 we will move one row below. We reached 32. Children, the answer is 32. Now, the next number is 41. We will again move to the grid. Moving on to the grid, we will find number 41. Here it is. And we will move one row below. So, where did we reach? We reach 51. So the answer is 51.
51. The next number is 53. We will move to 53. From 53, we will move one row below. We reach 63. So the answer will be 63. I hope you must be finding it easy to add with the help of a grid. The next number is 81. Now start from 81 and move one row below. You will reach 91. So the answer is 91. Now children, we move on to another exercise where we have to add two numbers using a grid. Now the first number is 44. So what we will do? We will find number 44 on the grid. Here it is. So we will start at number 44. Then we can split 15 into 10 and 5. And first add 10. So when we have to add 10 to 44, we move one row below. So 44 plus 10 is 54. Now how many numbers are left? 5 is left. So we will move 5 forward. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we reached 59. Moving on 5 numbers we reached 59. So the answer is 59. Let's try another number. Now another number is 66 plus 12 equals to how many? The first number is 66. Now find 66. Here it is. From 66 again we will do the same thing. We will split 12 into 10 and 2. First we will add 10. So to add 10 we will move one row below. 66 plus 10 is 76. And now we have to add 2 more. So we will move two numbers forward. 78 is the answer. Now, 78. Let's try another number. Plus 33 is 67. 